Ready to race board on, Q4 race two for the supercars here at Pembrey. Green light and go, good start from Vittles on the outside, great floor from Steve Hill. They go side by side and Hill is squeezed into the first corner, no room for him there. Godfrey takes over the front from Vittles, from O'Donovan then getting himself into third place. Vittles goes Joker in the first lap, followed by Steve Hill, so two go Joker, two go normal. Godfrey with the clear track in front of him then as he continues on in the lead of this race. Vittles deciding to get himself out of the traffic and trying to get the overcut as a mistake there from Steve Hill in the number four results in him going grass tracking in the technical first sector on the gravel. Not ideal at all for the number four and he will have a bit of work to do to try and close that deficit down now as O'Donovan sits in second position and tries to close down the deficit to the race leader of Julian Godfrey. Down the back straight he comes, already at the end of the first lap in Q4 race two for the supercars. Into the first corner we go. The difference in styles between the two drivers is very evident to see. Don't think anyone's going to go Joker in the top two this time around. Indeed, they're not. But speaking of Jokers, look at the man who has already Jokered, Robert Vittles, closing that gap down to Ollie O'Donovan. And let's not forget, this is only Vittles' second ever supercar race. He only made his debut at Lydon Hill back in May for round one and round two of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. And he is driving like a man who's got several years of experience underneath him as he closes that gap down now to Ollie O'Donovan. O'Donovan, of course, he hasn't made that joker so far then in this race. So, end of lap two, it's Godfrey from O'Donovan, from Vittles, from Hill then, and it's O'Donovan who's going to be on the back foot here because he's going to have to make his joker and he's easily going to be overtaken by the Latvian driver of Robert Vittles. Does O'Donovan go joker this time? No, he doesn't. Crucially, neither does the race leader of Julian Godfrey and those two are hemorrhaging time compared to Robert Spittle. So let's see what's going to happen here as they come through the gravel section once more and you can see how much more quickly Vittles is able to close up onto the back of O'Donovan through the gravel section and onto the straight. That is where O'Donovan's pace comes into its own because that Mark 7 Ford Fiesta that he's got underneath him has got an absolute bob under the engine bay and he is so much faster than the aging C4 of Robert Vittles. But Vittles seems to have a bit more usability with the car, a bit more chuck ability through the corners. So on to start the penultimate lap then here at Pembrey. Is anybody going to joker out of the top two this time around? Looks like the race leader and O'Donovan have gone joker and that releases Vittles into the race lead. A spray of gravel over the front of Julian Godfrey's car as the Latvian driver Robert Vittles takes the lead away. But Godfrey, he's a wise old head. He's a multiple champion in British Rallycross and he'll be doing everything he possibly can to get himself past Robert Vittles before the chequered flag. There's a lap and a half now remaining as they come in towards the Brooklyn's hairpin and now it's a roll reversal with Godfrey chasing down Robert Spittles. But that C4 is just looking absolutely masterful through the twisty sections and let's be fair, there's quite a few of them here. So on to the final lap we go and it's advantage Robert Spittles then. Is he going to be able to hold off the charge of Julian Godfrey when the chequered flag falls? He was about uh, half a second or so quicker than Julian Godfrey's fastest lap in this race last time around was Robert Spittles and he is really either made a setup change overnight or whatever it might be maybe he's just got himself a bit more used to the circuit whatever it is it's proven to be absolutely inspired for the Latvian driver the bonnet catch is flapping away there as he comes on the brakes into the Brooklyn hairpin for the final time but nothing is going to stop Robert Spittles and the Citroen C4 from claiming the win in Q4 race two for the supercars ahead of Godfrey and O'Donovan who finish inside the top three. Steve Hill is going to come home a distant fourth position, but a very exciting race. And that has set it up an absolute treat for the semi-finals and the finals later on here today at Pembrey. If Robert Vittles can hold on to pace like that throughout the course of the day here in Wales, then he is going to be an absolute force to be reckoned with as we continue on racing action here for round three of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship.